Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Fritz Hudson Fritz. I hope your day is going splendidly so far. Currently 59 degrees and sunny here in the valley on this Wednesday afternoon. Welcome back. This video is part two of the Universal Yums subscription box unboxing and taste testing. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch part one, I recommend to pause this video, go check out part one, and come right on back. <laughs> I'll wait for you. <laughs> Welcome back. First up on today's taste test docket for part two is the lentil snack maple bacon. Mm. Sweet and smoky with an amazing crisp. With the Baltic Sea so close, salt has historically been an important part of Baltic trade and food. <laughs> it's part of the reason why today there's so much bacon and smoked fish in the cuisine and also why these lentil snacks Seasoned with sweet and salty bacon is a popular choice there. Mm. Ow, I love the packaging and the design. Very vibrant, catches, catches my eye. Mm, puts me in a, a playful, joyful mood seeing this. <laughs> this 1.7 ounce bag has an expiration date of November 16th, 2024. Full disclosure, Universal Yums is not a sponsor of this video. Mm. Huh. If you've tried this, let me know in the comments what your assessment of it is. Open here. <laughs> that I will. Da, 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 da. In the back. There we go. Oh, wonderful smoky aroma. Mmm, like I'm sitting around a campfire. Mmm, having a cookout. Oh, look at it. <laughs> ah, looks like a French fry. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Fantastic initial crunch. Mm. Smooth, not greasy at all. Fresh. Right up front. Heavy bacon esque taste. And smoke, rich smokiness is coming through. It really shines. I will say it's very, very salty. I think that's from part of the seasoning that they're using to emulate the bacon flavor. Oh, that bacon. Oh, so smooth. Texture-wise, it almost remi reminds me of the Lay's barbecue. And also the Lay's smoky bacon that used to be produced up in Canada. I'm not actually sure if they make those anymore. If you've tried those, let me know. But the texture wise, that's what they remind me of. But these lentils of profile. Mm, just the right size portion wise. Oh, this would be great. To ha take on a picnic, maybe have with some pulled pork, pulled pork sandwich, or even just on their own. They're a great snack, light and airy, 
a very, very strong smokiness aftertaste, but I'm not picking up any weird fake bacon chemical aftertaste. These are so delectable. Mmm. Bacon. Rich texture. And like I said, they're very light. Crispy. Mmm. Hint of a bacon. Bacon y yes. Maple in there as well. Maple. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the lentil snack maple the ma maple bacon. Mmm. Whoa. -ho. Oh, ho. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, break out the band, strike up the band, I should say, because this right here is the perfect combination of the delivery mechanism and the flavor profile, nice and fresh. This is a solid 10 out of 10. I'm going to put this in my mouth. That's what she said. Here we go, folks. Mm. Oh. I just can't get enough. Welcome to the show. So delectable. And I appreciate that all of these are intact. None of them were broken during shipping. So shout out to the shipping department or whomever handled this box to get it to where I'm at here in the United States. This is wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Hardy, har, har, har. Oh. Mm. oh, I love that smoky smokiness. Oh, come here. Mm. 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 Oh, these are so good. Mm. 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 Oh, very savory. Mm. Fantastic. Next up on the taste test journey today is the mushroom long chips. A yum we're celebrating. And that brings us to the reason we're talking about mushrooms in the first place. All that earthy Baltic flavor we've been talking about is packed into this extra long, extra crispy, extra mushroomy chip. Unlike traditional potato chips, these ones are made from mashed potatoes and then cooked into long strips for a chip that looks very, very unique. But even more unique, at least to this region of the world, is that mushroom flavor. Enjoy. Ah, oh, mushroom flavored chips. Who knew? Long chips, quality since 1986. Mm. Flash fried for 10 seconds. Mashed potato snack, creamy mushroom. This 2.01 ounce package has an expiration date of March 23rd, 2025. Mm, store in a cool, dry place. Huh, well, I'll be. I'm trying all these new and exciting snacks, expanding my palate, my taste profile. Ba -ba 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 -ba, open up the package. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. Huh, I'll be rectangular chips. Oh, it looks like a ruler. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, I can't compete with this. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Whoa. Hello. Mm. Mm. 
Whoa. Right off the bat, very, very strong mushroom flavor. Almost, almost between a portobello and a shiitake mushroom in terms of the flavor profile. Mm. Nice, satisfying crunch. The chip itself is not greasy, it's fresh. Very, very salty on this. I think that's also part of the, from the seasoning that they use. It's slightly crunchy, but not overpowering, overpowering crunchy. Mm. Very tender afterward, smooth mushroom undertone. The flavors is surprisingly well. If you like mushrooms, I think you would like these as well. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I am very surprised. Mm. And I also appreciate that these arrived all in one piece. None of them are cracked or damaged or splintered. Oh, this would be a good snack. I'm keeping a desk drawer. Mm. Oh. I think this would be good with um, like a casserole, cream of mushroom casserole. Use this, crumble this up as a topping, or even to complement a front French onion soup. Mm. Fantastic. I am pleasantly surprised. I, who knew mushroom and potatoes together to make a chip? Mm. Ooh, crisp. I really appreciate the crispiness. Delicious. Mm, this would be a great snack in between meals. So uh, to sum up, I love the flavor. I love the crispiness. I love the portion size. Mm. Ooh. On a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the long chips mashed potato creamy mushroom snack crisps. I'm going to give these a solid 9. Point two three. Who knew? <laughs> I love the mm. oh the seasoning. It's strong, but I appreciate it. Mm. This will satisfy my hunger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next up <laughs> is Grandma's legendary wafer cake. Made by a real Lithuanian grandma. This waffle comes straight out of a grandma's kitchen. Really? When the bakers at Granex were working on new product concepts, one of their employees asked his grandmother to make a homemade batch of her caramel stuff waffles for inspiration. Instead, her exact recipe became their product. It doesn't get any more homemade than this. Mm. Wait for her cake. Woo! Mmm. This 3.17 ounce package has an expiration date of August 10th, 2024. Mm. Oh, cheers, everybody. Package time. Say it with me, everybody. Wafer time. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Window, the window washers are here. They're washing my window. I'll be right back. I'm back, everybody. They're finished cleaning my window on the outside. 
Back to the taste test. <laughs> wow, look at this. Looks so sweet. Layers here. Very, very soft to the touch. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Mm. Perfect balance of sweetness and creaminess. I appreciate the light crispiness from the wafer cookie itself. Mm. Oh, wonderful texture. Oh, that caramel. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, that caramel undertone is so soothing and inviting. Picking up a hint of vanilla aftertaste as well. And then like a little burst of chocolate. Oh, very light, airy. Not surprisingly not sticky. Mm, well, that chocolate itself is very decadent. I think this would pair well with either a hot cup of coffee or a nice hot cup of honey tea. Mm, oh, this is definitely dessert territory. Mm, wonderful taste. Very fresh. I also appreciate that the wafer is in one piece. It didn't get damaged in shipping. This would be great to enjoy on the go or if you're settled in for the evening at home. Oh, so sweet. Very, very sweet and sugary. Oh, <laughs> perfect little treat. Mm. I also appreciate they're, that they're not too crumbly or brittle. Perfect condition. On a scale of one to 10, mm. I am going to give grandma's legendary wafer cake Ladies and gentlemen, this is a solid 9.81. <laughs> Dressing to the nines today. <laughs> Let's strike up the band. Oh, these are amazing. Right side, right side, doop doop doop, way for size. Oh, very decadent. Mmm. Smooth. Mm. So tender after that, after that initial wafer crunch. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Thumbs up for snacks. Oh. <laughs> I'm here in the United States. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good. Mm, can't get enough. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Next up on the subscription box journey is the ooh, is the Adazu dill potato chips. The most popular seasoning in the Baltics. Dill. It's a big dill. <laughs> in the Baltic home cooking. In the same way that garlic is used in other parts of the world. Dill is that one spice home cooks always return to. In fact, many visitors to the Baltics say that it's more surprising when a Baltic dish doesn't have any dill in it. Oh, ho, ho. dill flavored potato chips I'm here in the United States. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, la, la, la. Woo, intriguing. This 2.64 ounce bag has an expiration date of July 3rd, 2024. 
Uh, full disclosure, or or Orkla or Kala is not a sponsor of this video. Pardon me if I pronounce that incorrectly. I don't speak uh, the language. Hmm. Potato chip. Potato chip time. <coughs> Woo! That is a very strong dill pickle aroma. Dill seasoning. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ridges. It reminds me of a ruffles chip. Cheers, everybody. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> the chip. Oh, very, very fan fresh, fantastic initial crunch. The potato shines through and then the dill comes in afterwards. Ooh, very, very soothing, very, very strong. Ooh, if you like dill flavored items, I think you would like these as well. Ah. Oh yeah, the flavor is spot on. The texture and the crunch are perfect. Oh, this is this will certainly satisfy someone's craving for sure. Mm. And there's no weird chemical aftertaste or it's not pungent with vinegar, but just classic dill seasoning. It's fresh, airy. It's not as salty as I thought they would be. Mmm. Oh, fresh and tasty. These, be, these are great on their own, but I think these would work well on a Reuben. Or as a garnish for a... Mmm. Like a pickled beet a salad. And crumble them up on top, uh, substitute these as a crouton. Crunchy with the perfect amount of spice and dill. But it's not overly sweet, not overly hot. What else is there? <laughs> Woo, very satisfying. Mm. Yeah, these aren't overly salty at all. Oh, these would be great to share with coworkers. But I need to pace myself. I'm going to eat this whole bag within the next five minutes. Just the right amount of dill on here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Tasty. Oh, beautiful. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right, yay! Chippity chip, chip, chip. On a scale of one to ten, whoop! I move the camera. There we go. I will give the Adazul dill potato chips. These are a solid nine point five zero. That wow! That's all I can say is wow. Hmm. So crunchy, crispy. Mm. The dill really shines, and it actually complements the potato chip aspect, a part of it as well. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. And now we come to the end of our taste test journey. Last item on the list today is the Gotina strawberry fudge. Ooh, chewy fudge bursting with fruity flavor. Hungry for a snack, but there's only boring vending machines around? Not a problem. In Estonia and Latvia, where you can find machines stocked not with chips and soda, but fresh berries. That's how important and beloved 
the wild fruit is within the region. This supremely flavorful Latvian strawberry fudge is a prime example of the vibrancy and freshness that Latvians expect from their strawberries, no matter where they find them. Nice little cube. Look at that. Can I get that in the bread box, sir? Look at that. Mmm. Skr. Skrivivru. Mm. Not a sponsor. Nice and firm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Go Gotina. Or Gotina. Gotina. Yeah. Nice little bar here. Ooh, very, very sticky, I should say, right up front. Ooh. Oh. Very pleasant strawberry aroma. Mmm, num, 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 num. Mmm. The strawberry shines through up front mm, that nice initial chewiness and then it just mellows out cream turned to a creaminess very very soothing it really pack, packs a punch in the flavor territory not dry or stale at all very very fresh i will say though in terms of the texture it did come across a little uh, chalky i'm not sure if that's the the norm for where they're at in their part of the world. But it's still very, very decadent. Mmm. The strawberry, it almost reminds me of the flavor profile, almost reminds me of Smucker's brand, the strawberry preserves. Mmm. But I will say it's very, very sweet. Mmm. Creamy. Ooh, super creamy, super strawberry. Mm. I will say though, if you like strawberry, I think you would like this as well. Mm, so smooth, just the right bite size as well. Mm, strawberry, 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 filled forever. What? Mm. Mm. Now, when I think of fudge, I was thinking that there'd be chocolate in there, but it's just pure, mm, creamy, smooth strawberry. Mm. It's fruity, all right. Great flavor. Just that little chalkiness there when I was chewing it. But no weird chemical aftertaste. It doesn't taste like uh, medicinal uh, strawberries like you would find in types of cough syrup. Um, just spot on. Tastes like the real thing. Real strawberries. <laughs> mm, that's because it was made with real strawberries. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the Gotina strawberry fudge. I'll give this one an 8.23. Oh. There we go, everybody. Made it through the booklet. There, made it through another month of delicious and wonderful assortments of snacks from around the world. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh. Mm -mm. The Baltic Sea is home to all sorts of colorful creatures. Mm. Moon jelly, gray seal, straight nosed pipefish, three spined. Diclobeck, blue mussel, and a harbor porpoise. Huh. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Safe travels. Ta-da. Ding, 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 ding.